in this movie. Production design is so good. We've really tried to inject all the little details from the games in the form of props, costumes, sets. I want fans to just look at these locations and be like, wow, I'm in the game. Capcom were super supportive. They gave us the actual blueprint, so we built the mansion and police station exactly as the game. There's lots of hidden Easter eggs to look out for. What are we doing here? Every frame has details. The orphanage doors, a typewriter in the background, the little herbs, even the key used in the movie. So it's really fun. It's very much for the fans. Corporation's been experimenting on this town since we were kids. People are getting sick. We have to stop Umbrella. Show me your hands! What the f The world needs to know what's really going on. City. Rated R. Exclusively in movie theaters, November 24th. Oh my god. I love horror films. I always go, if this really happened, how would I survive? Where are they? It's a Jill. It's guns. Really? What? Someone should confiscate that. Jill is a little bit crazy. What would the worst way to die be? You're a freak, Valentine. She works in the police force in this small town. Hey! You snooze, you lose. What? It's Jill Sandwich now. She's very loyal. Go get the others. I'll find a way out. If you don't mess with her, come on. She's just so badass. <laughs> Albert Wesker is known in the games to be one of the key villains of the story. We didn't want him to be a stereotypical villain. We wanted him to be likable. The faster we find, the faster we can get out of here. We're seeing who he really is underneath the sunglasses. It's an origin story of that brings that version of Wesker. We watch this character evolve and become the Wesker that we all know from the games. It really does feel like we're making the movie version of the game. I'm not really offering you a choice. Welcome to Raccoon City is very much a, an origin story, so we see Leon Kennedy's journey. For fans, Leon's an action hero, but we really want to go back to the original second game, where he's quite a nerdy, reluctant hero. Uh, guys. It was really important to cast the actor that could bring Leon Kennedy to life. We did not want someone that looked identical to the games but had no emotional connection. Woo! The fans are going to be happy with this movie because it's pulling very much from the games. Shall we go? Throughout the movie, we see Leon become the character that gamers will recognize. A rocket launcher? Found it in first class. Chris Redfield is a small town hero. Right here! And now he's part of the Raccoon City Police Force. Umbrella Corporation has a virus, and the virus infects Raccoon City. If we don't contain this, it could threaten the whole world. Chris has to become more than just the small town hero. <laughs> He has to become this action hero. What's really cool about our movie is that it is very much an adaptation of the games. We gotta get out of here. 
looks like I'm living in the video game and it's really, really exciting. Get behind me! 